Hey YouTube, this is uh, Dave Medic One, and uh, today's video, uh, I'm just pretty much got bored of sitting around, not have any money to get stuff watered to cut, uh, not have any money for any proper steel, whatever. Uh, I had mentioned this before in one of my previous videos. Uh, I had found a piece of it is a piece of uh, structural steel. It is. I believe it's 21 inches by 4 inches and I've had a drawing sitting around one of the well, one of my earlier uh, drawings or designs um, I've always wanted to uh, one of the first things that I wanted to make one it was gonna be like a like a woodsman chopper type of deal some kind of um, uh, kind of a meat cleaver slash machete slash survival knife type of deal and I've been you know I've drawn a couple different versions as you can see the uh, the picture on top is the probably one of the later drawings that I have and what I actually drew on the bottom here is the blade is still the, the main blade structure is still identical um, I've kind of X'd out the circle there, finger insert circle, because um, just because I thought maybe it would be too much. Um, uh, I really would have to kind of configure the handle so it was comfortable to swing it and chop it. Um, you're going to be putting a lot of weight behind it. Um, something this big, you're going to be chopping something pretty thick and dense, um, hard. So as far as the uh, uh, as far as the vibration feeding back to the blade into your hand, uh, that circle may be a little too, uh, maybe uncomfortable. Uh, I've yet to do a prototype on it or have tested it, so I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be the case. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just went ahead and, and went with a different handle on that. Um, oh, there we go. That's a little better. Um, yeah, I just turned the light. But anyway. You can kind of see the design here. I apologize for the lighting. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because this is kind of a rusty old piece of metal, which I think is really cool um, just for a prototype type of deal. I'm just cutting this so I can simply feel it in my hands and then kind of modify my drawing in the future to fit and suit uh, what I think or what I'm trying to get at here. So uh, I drew it out on the steel. Uh, the blade length... Um, the entire length of this knife is going to be f uh, 14, uh, let me see here, it's going to be, it's going to be 14 inches. Uh, the actual blade cutting surface is 9 inches, which leaves you with a generous 5 inches for handle, um, for a bigger hand or whatnot. Um, I went ahead and, uh, even though this looks cooler on paper, I think a straight handle uh, may not, uh, I don't know, it may not be too comfortable, it, it may, you know, I'm not sure, um, you know, after swinging it for a while, it may not be too comfortable, so I went with a more contoured, uh, handle, uh, like I have on a couple of my newer drawings, with, uh, cutouts, uh, to accommodate your finger, or whatnot, uh, this steel is a quarter inch, uh, thick, um, so it's gonna be pretty, uh, it's gonna be on the heavier side for sure, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much, I drew it out, I'm going to probably begin cutting it, um, what do we got, today's Wednesday, um, I'll probably start cutting it on the weekend, I'll just let it sit around, I'll look at it for a while, I may change it a little bit, um, have this, uh, cut out in the top, there is going to be jimping across the top here, uh, I don't know if I'm going to just do a regular flat grind on it, like a little, this is right here, it's about, a half inch flat grind or if I'm gonna go ahead and convex it um, so but I think I am gonna go with a regular flat grind because it's gonna be a chopper so you're gonna want something that's not gonna maybe uh I don't know if the convex will will well you know what the convex should be fine uh, I've seen too much testing on YouTube or whatever and it seems to do fine but then again I'm, I'm dealing with a uh, um, structural steel so God knows what this is so I'll probably end up just cutting it uh, cutting this out, uh, sanding it, 
this metal is old and rusty, so it's pitted. So as I sand this, you're going to see a lot of these pits to come through. And I think that's going to pretty much add, it's going to add aesthetically to this blade and make it look more grungy and, and, and you know, and thrown together and kind of mean looking. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I did. I kind of, it took me a total of, uh, uh, let's say 20 minutes, not even 15 minutes to do transfer this to the steel. Um, and to modify this handle, uh, as opposed to that, so not too bad, so, I just figured to give you guys an update on what it was up to, um, I did get a couple packages in today, and I will be doing a, uh, kind of an, not really an unboxing, but just kind of showing you guys what I got in the mail today, um, uh, two really cool packages, so, but that'll be in another video, but, uh, thank you guys for watching, let me know what you think. Um, should I stay with the old school original handle, uh, with the hole right there, even though that's going to be a son of a gun to cut out, or should I go ahead and stick with this new modified, or the new handle that I got here, which I think will be more, um, ergonomic, and make this, uh, this, uh, this knife easier to, or more comfortable to use, prolonged use and whatnot, or anything else you guys may think about this. I've got other designs that are in, like, I've got, like, three, actually, I got one other chopper. That I'm going to do. That's definitely going to get. When I get the money for water jet. It's definitely going to be cut out. Um, and uh, and this was just the one that I kind of. This is my original one. So I wanted to go ahead and use this piece of steel. Just to do that. So, But anyway guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what changes. Or your thoughts on where I'm going with this. Um, I know the practicality of this. May not be uh, too much. It is, it is a larger, uh, larger blade. It will have some weight to it. Um, uh, as far as throwing it in a pack, um, it's a pretty big, um, it's a, it's a pretty big knife to throw in a, in a hiking pack to chop or uh, whatever. You'd have to sacrifice a lot of other things as far as weight goes. But anyway, but just like I said, let me know what you think. Uh, post your comments below and, um, thanks again for watching. Uh, you guys have a good day. Peace.